everybody, it's me, Lisa, and welcome to or back to my channel. I'm here today with an old haul. <laughs> it's been sitting here for a really long time because, um, as some of you know, I was in, uh, I had some real health problems and I had kind of a health scare and went to the hospital overnight and things like that. But I'm good, I'm good. And um, actually, that overnight hospital stay for my fall ended up resulting in me getting finally some decent care for my migraines and I've been migraine free now for two weeks um and I I mean I'm gonna say migraine free but I uh, to me it's migraine free because they have come back uh very mildly at times um to where they're barely noticeable and even when they have it been intermittent like it hasn't lasted all day long or anything so for me from going to from that to from going from you know uh, unbearable and me not being able to do things and things like that um, to, to the to way it's been and those um, little mild ones that have been intermittent haven't been every day it's been like two or three days out of the two weeks so take a deep breath I mean I, I feel so much better I can't tell you and um, I want to thank Candy Self because she sent me a really nice email saying she was missing me um, during that time period with the hospital thing and everything when I wasn't on here for a couple of weeks. And I really appreciate little notes like that. I mean, I can't tell you, they mean so much to me. I mean, I really feel like, you know, wow, someone misses me or something like that. It means a lot to me. Thank you so much, Candy. I love you. Um, so th what about this haul? Um, Two weeks ago, I went shopping with Teresa in Virginia, and this is not that haul. This precedes that. This is stuff that I bought um, a couple of weeks before that on my own here in Hagerstown, and I attempted to video it um, last week when I videoed my um, happy mail from Stacy and Eileen, and the camera kept coming up after I taped it. It would just shut off. And it turns out I had too much, um, you know, not enough storage on my camera. And so I had to delete a bunch of videos and it was giving me a hard time. And I finally had to get my son, grandson, Sean, who's really good with technology to help me out. And now it's fine. I can store a bunch more stuff. So let me go ahead and get started. Um, geez, the way I had it laid out was a mess. Um, I'll start with... Like I said, it's all over the place because I thought I already taped it all. And then it says, it's, I look up and it's not taping anymore. And I'm like, are you kidding me? For real? I have to start over? I was not a happy girl. Okay, so I had gone to Hobby Lobby and I had um, gotten these foam stickers. First, the butterfly ones. And they are $3.59 and you get $72. These were not on sale or on clearance. I just wanted them. Same with the fish, three fifty nine. You get forty eight. The sun is kind of doing weird things in my craft room this morning. I apologize if it looks weird. Um, three fifty nine for seventy two of these creatures, and you get turtles, snails, frogs, and mushrooms. Aren't they cute? I mean, they had turtles in them. How could I not get them? Okay, let's just ask that question. Um, I think that's it for the foam ones. And then these stickability stickers, I really love these. Um, this is what you get in this packet. They are the um, Paper Studio, and they're $4.99. And the week that I went, they were half off. That's the only time I buy Paper Studio. So I paid $2.50 for these. How many do you get? Eight designs, three of each. So you get 24. So these are nice and big. I love them for my journals and I love them for projects and, you know, sending people booklets. I, I love using them for a lot of things. So I got that design and I got the little woodland creatures. I love these. Look how cute they are. My goodness. So, and they're nice size. You can see compared to my hand. I mean, they're big. And then... Oh, I wasn't done with the foam stickers. I got these multicultural children ones. You, these are six ninety nine because you get one hundred and sixty five of them. So there, this is the shareable size. I can send these to people that want some. Michelle, I I had you in mind that I would send you some. Um, these are more of the stickabilities die cut stickers, and you get again twenty four, and they were. 
half off, so two two fifty. Look at these. These are new this year. The butterfly and the bees, dragonflies. Aren't they gorgeous? I bought two of those because they're new, and I don't know how long. You know, they might fly off the shelves. <clears throat> In the kids department, I bought these sunburst beads. They do so nice on stick pins and everything. I I will come back and show those. And how much were they? They are $2.99 and you get $128. Over in the clearance, oh, before I show that, this was also from the children's department. It's turtles and whales and fish beads, $3.99, you get $65. Then I was over in the clearance aisle and I was I found these three ninety nine um, bows red and pink on clearance for one twenty four. Okay, so that's that. And let me clear it up, or there won't be room up here for me to show you anything else. was under my chair and it just ripped. That's all right. Also from the clearance aisle, I found these little mini die cuts. These are $3.99 for 99 cents. You can see that at the top there what you get. I got the paw prints, also 99 cents. You get all those colors. Some boring glue, 99 cents, regularly $3.99. Um, these little appliques, $2.99 on clearance for $0.74. Cents. I love these um, cacti die cuts, $5.99 on clearance, $1.49, and you can see what you get. Ribbon, $3.99, clearance, $0.99, cents. Allie's. This one is also 99 cents, kind of bling. I'm not much of a big, I'm not huge on bling, but I do like to cut these little gems apart and use them for different things. Little Scooter Girl Wooden, 19 cents. This little trim, 99 cents. Flower trim, 99 cents. I got two of these alphas. You get nine, eight sheets. They were 9.99 clearance for 274. Kind of the iridescent silver letters. I got these little, like they look like little schoolgirls, 3.99 on clearance, 99 cents. I have these little unicorn paper clips, $3.99, cents. I would never pay $3.99 for that Hobby Lobby, I hate to tell you. Okay, so, a couple beads, I'm gonna pull that out and put everything else back in. Be efficient here, folks. Okay. I found some clearance beads that I was really happy about. I'm trying not to buy a lot of beads because I have to But um, this one was $6.99 for $1.99. Fingers work, please. So pretty. This one, $5.99 for $1.49. This one, $8.99 for $2.49. And the last one, $10.99 for $2.74. I would never pay $10.99 for that, but I mean, it is beautiful though. I'm lucking out to get it for that deal. Okay, so that, I think, wait a minute. I was about to say that's it for Hobby Lobby. And I would have been lying. Another clearance bag from Hobby Lobby. Well, 
not all clearance, but more stuff. Okay, there's more of those glues for 99 cents. You don't need to see those. <clears throat> okay, I got these. Um, they're like palm leaf um, confettis, $3.99 for 99 cents. I love them. They're really summery colors. And some people use these for table scatter. I don't do the whole table scatter thing, but I do glue these into projects. I lucked out on finding two of these sandcastle appliques. They, um, they were kind of remind me of the underwater mermaid castles and stuff. Um, doesn't say how much they were originally, but a dollar twenty four. Yes, I'll take those for a dollar twenty four. Found a little camper applique, um, two ninety nine for seventy four cents. Isn't that cute? Some llama, um, or no, I'm sorry, not llama, unicorn shaker stickers, $1.99 for 49 cents. Super cute. I would probably put those in a giveaway. Um, again, Stickabilities by Paper Studio was 50% off, so all three of these stickers were $2.99. I got them for $1.50. I got the sloths. Oh, these frogs are absolutely adorable. And then the woodland creatures with the acorns and leaves, like kind of like the fall theme. I will definitely look forward to using those in a couple of months. So that's it for that bag. What is this? Oh, Michael's. Um, is that it for that down there? Yes. So. It's not much in here, but it's heavy. This is Tuesday morning. I don't even know where. I didn't get that at Tuesday morning. I know where I got that. Um, so Tuesday morning, this is a couple of trips um, over like the last month before my fall. So my fall was two weeks ago. So th this is um, you know, anywhere from four to six weeks old. I'm not going to show that because I bought that for my friend Eileen and I don't want her to see it before I ship it. So I bag, grabbed a bag of these um, three layers of protection masks, um, 10 pack. You know, I do buy the cut, uh, the cloth masks and I do um, wash them in my washing machine, but I love to have a bag or two of these in my glove box um, because sometimes I won't remember that, my, you know, I won't have a cloth mask in my purse or in my wallet for some reason. Or also, Sean and his friends will be in my vehicle and they won't remember to have brought a mask, although they won't definitely won't want the pink ones. But I do have a pack of white ones in my car for them. So anyway, I just like to have these in my bags, my um, physical therapy bag and my purse and my glove box and things. So these were $6.99 at Tuesday morning on clearance for $5.50. I didn't buy them because they were on clearance. I would have paid full price. I just like to have these around. And Maryland, um, well, Biden just announced, the fella just kills me, he really does, just announced that uh, you don't have to wear your mask if you've had the vaccine. Well, that's all nice and well, and I've had the vaccine, and I'm still going to wear my mask. Why? Well, people, you can still get COVID even if you had the vaccine. Um, not only are there different strains of it, but the vaccine is not a guarantee, it reduces your chances of getting COVID. It does not eliminate them. And if you do get the COVID after you've had the vaccine, your chances are that you'll have a very mild variety and you won't be hospitalized or die or anything like that. So that's all great. But for someone like me who already has health ailments like diabetes and high blood pressure and things like that, I don't need to get even a mild version of it. And I don't need to pick up things um, other things that could affect my health. So I'm gonna to continue to wear mine. So that's that. Every two each his own, whether you wear them or not. I picked up this 48 sheet pack of solid Echo Park cardstock. Now I probably didn't need any more cardstock, but I really liked the colors. It wasn't on that much of a clearance. It was $14.99, brought down to $12. But look at the colors. I thought it was a good color range, and I'll try to do a little bit of a flip through for you. Let's 
There's a bit of colors in here I won't use. I am not a navy blue or gray person, but I love all the colors at the top. I love the greens. Um, there's a lot down here I probably won't use, but you know, somebody, one of my friends wants those, she can have those. I mean, I'll ask Teresa because I do see her in person and don't have to ship those to her. Um, I picked up, I don't have much, I've said before, I don't have much in the way of summer ephemera and summer papers, and I do want to make like a summer journal. And also I like to send, like I said, little, I make these little booklets, I call them little books, um, and I send them to friends, little friendship books or whatever, and I don't have anything much summery coming up, so I wanted to have something, I do have a little bit in, in my summer kit in the garage, but not much. So I found this Simple Stories 12 by 12 collection kit, Summer Farmhouse is called, excuse me, Diet Coke coming back, um, and it's called Summer Farmhouse, and you get 100 pieces. Well, that sounds amazing for $11.99, but trust me, there's there's a little stuff going on here. It makes it sound really good. You get 12 12 by 12 pieces of paper, and you know when I saw the lemons, I was like, okay, I'll take it. There it is. Dunna, 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 dunna. So, and I love this look little swimsuit and flip-flop theme going on here. I love the ice cream cones. I love the floral pieces. I love this gingham one. It just reminds me of picnic table cloths so much. I just love that. And this yellow honeycomb like bee theme going on here. And I absolutely adore cherries. So anyway, that's that. But on the back, you can see that you do get an ephemeral pa ephemera pack called Journal Bits Summer Farmhouse, 57 pieces. You can't really see what's all in there. Well, I'll open it up. And stencil, you get a stencil, and then you get this sticker sheet. So all right, you, you can kind, it's gonna be really small for you folks on video. Um, you can kind of see what you get in the 57 pieces of ephemera. There are some banners, some labels, things like that. Then you get this kind of cute little, ging it, it, is, it says gingham stencil. And then you can a little bit better see you get some ice cream, farmer's market, and there is a little house and an ice cream stand. There's the infamous red truck. You can kind of see more what you get on the sticker sheet. I thought it was adorable. I mean, you know, $11.99. When you consider that you do get a sticker sheet in addition to the papers, and you do get a stencil, and you do get ephemera, I thought, yeah, eleven ninety nine, I'll do that. And they only had the one. Grab it before the next lady tries. I'm just kidding. I'm not like that. If somebody else was there and wanted it, I would have gladly given it over. It's just not my style to be greedy. It's never been, and it never will be. Somebody else wants it. Off it goes. Um, so what else is in here? Okay, this is this is a couple things mixed in from another store, but what on earth is coming out of my coming out of my drawer underneath here? Alright, so now I'm to the bottom of that bag. Um, also at Tuesday morning, I tend to buy a lot of my gardening things there just because not because they're great or anything. I mean, they're average. Um, some of them have lasted me a few years, like the little pruners and clippers and things. But because I want to support Tuesday morning, and I could go over to Lowe's and pay more and get my gloves and all that. Um, and they may be better quality and they may last longer, but I'm supporting Tuesday morning. I went over there the other day because I needed new bed pillows. Do I usually buy them at Walmart when I need to replace them? Yes, but I'm supporting Tuesday morning. I want it to stay there. Um, so... I picked up like three packs of these gloves. Um, these were $4.99. Um, I picked these because they're stretchable. I don't like those little cotton ones because my hands are way too big for that. Um, 
but these, uh, the only thing I can say that I didn't like about these when I put them on and did the planting, put flowers in my bucket out front, is the dirt goes right through them. So I came in the house and peeled them off and the dirt was all under my fingernails and everything. But, you know, I mean, it is what it is. $2.50 a pair is what it turns out to be. And guess what I found, you guys? They have this whole big rack of swimsuit case, swimsuit sacks. You put your wet swimsuit in it and bring it home from wherever you are. And they had watermelons and tropical birds, toucans or whatever on it. Guess what I found. How many of you are guessing sunflowers? How many of you are guessing turtles? Well, I would have loved that. I didn't have that. Lemons! Two pack of lemon ones. They had another one of larger lemons, but the background was kind of black, and I, I, I didn't like it at all. But I did love this one. You get two of these cases with the zipper for two compartments for $8.99. So that's nine bucks. Each one of these works out to be $4.50. These are so indescribably good for your markers because they have that waterproof lining. So if one of your markers leaks, it's not gonna ruin the whole bag. Also good to throw your little um, ink pads in, your paints, whatever you want. I mean, it says swim suit cases, but I've been buying these for a while um, for my craft supplies. So FYI, if you hadn't thought of that for a use for these and you see some that you're really plum crazy about, that's a good use for those. So I'm done promoting that. <laughs> oh, I'm in a weird mood this morning. So, um, I picked up, it's weird, Tuesday morning usually sells these tapes individually, but I found the day that I was in there, this is together as a pack for $6.99 and you get different sizes. So you get this really, really ultra skinny. It looks like a 45 record, if you remember those. And you get this wide one. I mean, the sizes are on there, but do you really want me to read them? I don't even know what happened to my glasses, so, you know, that's how I am. You probably say, every video she does that. She says she can't find her glasses. And you would be correct. I do that every video. Okay, let me back it up for those of you who are interested in size. The first skinny one, one eighth inch by three millimeters. The second one, half inch by 12 millimeters. Third one, quarter inch by 6.3 millimeters. And the red, which a lot of people say they always look for the red. I can't even read that. Oh, one eighth inch by three millimeters. So you get four rolls for $6.99 of the double-sided tape. Um, Ladies in my craft group are always looking for the red. And to be honest, that's the reason I bought the whole pack. I can use any of the sizes. But I'll give my friend the red that she's been looking for. So, onward and upward. They had a little run on Sizzix dies that I didn't have. And uh, they had four or five. I only bought the two that I liked the most. Um, this one... I don't know the artist's name. I can't read it, honestly. Jarly. It looks like J-A-R-L-I for those of you who follow different artists. But this is the one that I got. It's got critters. Um, you can kind of see what it looks like in the size that you get. It's very nice size. Eight dies. Um, I loved it. It's a little deer. This one I had to get. Not only is it a fairy with wings and all, but it kind of, you know, with the little, it kind of reminded me of angel wings. Kind of reminded me of my daughter, Julie, who's gone to heaven um, six years ago now. And this one is six dies. And as you can see from the back, it's good size. Look at my hand. It's good size. They had two others that were male elves with wings. And they just, that just didn't really do anything for me. So I didn't get those. The last thing I think from Tuesday morning is I got this Hero Arts clear stamp set, $6.99, and they're very, very small. Um, they're animals, and it says, your, it's a tea party theme. It says, you're terrific. Um, meet me for a spot of tea and time for tea. And then the rest are 
the little animals that are gathering for tea. And there's teapots and a little tree stump to sit down and have tea, little mushrooms. Look, aren't they just adorable teacups? Little porcupine, little hedgehog. Look at these fox, bear, bunny. They're so cute. I mean, I know they're small, little duck, and they're, you know, but they this would make a perfect card. So I, I went ahead and got that. And then I had gone to um, Christmas tree shops and I went there looking for more um, pinwheels for my yard. Because when I was down with Teresa in Virginia, um, not, not the beginning of May, but the beginning of April, I had bought a couple of big pinwheels and put one out front and one out back. I kind of decided I want a couple more because I really love watching those and they're so pretty out the kitchen window when I'm washing dishes. Anyway, um, I went to my Hobby Lobby. They didn't have any left. Um, so I went over to Christmas Tree Shop because I've bought them in the past over there in the spring. They they really didn't have any left either. But So I thought, well, I'll look around while I'm in here. And what did I get? I got some stuff. I got a, they had one small pink pinwheel, which I put in Julie's area. I have a little area to honor my daughter in the yard that has like a bunny bird bath because she loved bunnies. And it has a stone cross that my friend bought me to honor her and some little flower pots. And it has a little stone um, cement or whatever you call it, um, little Scotty, Scottish Terrier because she had one and I painted it black. And it has a um, cement cat because she loved cats. Um, a few little things like that over there. So um, anyway, while I was in there, I was buying garden flags and I found a few that I really liked. And um, but this one I found, I, I've already hung them all up by the way, but this one was an extra and it turns out I don't have enough posts to put this one on, but I'll, I'll just hang on to this as a spare, uh, the watermelon one. I found one that said welcome and it has all these little pretty ruffles on it. And that's the one I ended up using out front. So that's a spare, and then at the register, lo and behold, they had the ultimate shopping bag. Ta-da! Making its debut at Lisa's house near you, 99 cents for the lemon shopping bag. Can you believe that I had the self-control to only get one? Yes, indeed. Not a lie, I did only get one. And that is because as I've been feeling better, I have been digging into my garage project. And I've been purging and getting rid of stuff because I moved into this house from a 2,100 square foot townhouse um, three years ago when I, you know, really, you know, my neuropathy just limited me from taking those two flights of 13 stairs several times a day. I just couldn't do it anymore. And so I bought this rancher and everything is on le one level. I don't have a basement. My laundry is in the closet doors that you always see in the background here. Um, so there's no stairs involved at all. Let the dogs out the kitchen door right over here. Um, so it's perfect for me. And, um, so there's been, you know, I mean, obviously in, in other parts of the house, there are things you haven't used in three years. Very few things, though. In the garage, you know, I brought stuff over and boxed it up and labeled it and stuck it in the garage. And to me, if we haven't used it in three years since we've lived here, we're probably not going to and it's time to go through it. So as I've been starting to feel better, I've been out there going through it because there's very little space out there. You can't walk. And I have so much craft stuff in here that I can't go, you know, I can't have much room in here. So a lot of it needs to go out there labeled on new shelves that I bought. And my friend came and installed them and, you know, screwed them to the wall so they won't tip on me with the weight of the things. And um, so I've been going through things and I found... Um, one of these shopping bags um, like this, you know, wasn't lemons, but I found one jack stuffed full of other plastic shopping bags of all designs. And that is why I only bought one lemon one um, because I already have a bunch of those shopping bags. And really what I primarily use them for is to sort my hauls. Um, once I've shown them, I sort them into, you know, what they what they're going to need to be put away in what bins. 
Um, and I also keep a couple in my car so that when I go shopping and I have a bunch of small bags from different stores, I stuff them in those to carry in the house. That's really what I use them for. I don't need a whole bunch of them. I mean, yeah, I could have bought six lemon ones, but that would have been really overkill. So, next door I went to was Michael's. And um, I really didn't need paper and... <clears throat> And honestly, I've got to stop doing this. And, and, I, and I say that you probably, you know, laugh and say, oh, you say that, but you're not going to do it. But honestly, in, unless there is, Michael's is coming in with new paper pads and they are, you know, like new, you know, new spring, summer designs or something that I've never seen. I'm, I'm going to stop doing this because... The only reason I did this is because I, my friend Kathy that runs our little craft group that usually meets once a week at her apartment, um, she, you know, she says, oh, they're, they're running it again. Um, hot buy paper pads, buy one, get two free. Well, you know, that gets in my head and I'm like, oh, and she said they have some clearance things too. So I'll just drive over and take a look. Well, I've got to stop doing that because that mentality is... I'm going to go over there and look at stuff I don't need and I'm going to end up spending money that I don't need to spend. And really, truthfully, I don't need any more paper, honestly. It, you know, when I get started with putting this paper in my garage in these bins, I mean, I'm, I can see from just looking around here that I don't need any more. But when I go to move it around, I'm going to see even more so that I don't need it. But anyway, long story short, she showed some of the pads that she got with, you know, and she gets it even cheaper because she gets a discount on top of the... um buy one get two free so she showed us the pads that she got and you know she's so sweet and generous she's going oh you know there's two of each paper take what you want and I'm not going to take a bunch of her papers that I loved out of her pads that's just I'm just not going to do that so um you know everybody else is you know trying to be the same way oh I'll take one or two but I'm not going to take a whole bunch so anyway I went over there I don't know a week after she said that or whatever and I looked around and I said, well, let me see if there are even three that I like. Because if there aren't three that I like, I'm not going to do it. So I did find three that I like. So I did do it. Took the plunge. So I'll show you which three that I got. Um, this one is called Deep Blooms. And maybe you've all seen it before. Those of you who go and buy the Michaels, you know, hot buy paper pad collection. Very flowery, very bloomy. I love the globes. As a former teacher, I, anything with globes on it, I love. Anything with books or classroom things on it, I adore. That was my life's work, special ed. I loved it. I miss it. I had to stop when my daughter died. I just couldn't go back. I just wasn't able mentally. It, I would have been probably look at the map I would have been if they would have been kind to me about it but they were very cruel when my daughter died they had no sympathy whatsoever and I just couldn't go back to a, an environment where there was absolutely no understanding for my loss so that's the first one this one is called bloom fetty so they were primarily you know springy looking paper pads all three of them I love florals, if, if you don't already know that about me from watching my channel. If you're new here, I love florals. Look at those cut aparts. They'll be perfect for journaling cards for me. That's number two. And number three is called Garden Charm. Oh, let me show you the front cover first so you can get an idea. I love these bees. Look at these butterflies on the other end. Again, very springy. Also summary, look at that version of bees. I love that, you know, and people were at the table when she offered, were taking all the bee ones. I wasn't gonna take do that and take all her bees. Maybe she wanted bees. So you get the idea, they're all very beautiful spring and summer um, pads. 
So I had a feeling that this one, you know, from remembering the bees was one of the ones that she had at her table. So I get to the register and she's checking me out. And she says, Lisa, you bought all three of the pads that I bought. <laughs> oh, okay. Didn't realize that. So also when I was there, um, I bought this little mini stapler. Honestly, I don't have the receipt. I think it was $1.99 and you get with it mini craft stapler, 1,000 staples. And I bought to go with it, I think also $1.99, four packs of 1,000 staples in case I run out anytime soon. <laughs> and then I got this cute little pack on clearance of Christmas stamps for $3, you get four. One says Mary Mary, one says Tis the Season, the other is a little bear, and then a penguin. Let me see the little bear. Very cute. Okay, so that's it for Michael's. I don't think I'm going to get into... Um, the stickers but never mind anyway a couple quick things from walmart this video is long i'm sorry um i'll try to speed it up i went in there and they had these little fat quarters of fabric which i use to cover journals and do different other things with these are kind of they're springy you can see the little raccoon and the flowers Got two of those. This is the foxes. They are so cute. This is just a floral print. This you can see um, that there's a shape of a bunny there. So with my daughter loving bunnies the way she did, I got that. And this is a different raccoon um, woodland creature fabric so i got that you know i love magenta shirt journal <laughs> i got this thoughts um journal and i really love it and it has black paper inside so for those of you who like to use your chalk paints and your chalk markers this would be perfect also for a glue book you know to glue your things in i mean you can do this anything with this so i got that Peeled off the price sticker. Sorry, don't remember how much it was. I want to say like $5.88 or something like that. And then I got a new coloring book. I love to color and I cut out my colorings and I glue them in my journals. And this one was from Walmart 1038, Wild About Animals. I haven't colored for a while, so I'm looking forward to using this. Wild About Animals. I don't know. I'm gonna be able to pull this one off. How can I? How do I do it with my paper pads like this? I guess. And some of these, a couple of these drawings in here, I've colored in other coloring books and it's just, you know, they're, they're just sharing images, I guess. But I don't mind. I'll color it again like the bunnies for Julie. I'll color them again and I'll cut them out and put them in my journals or her books I make for her. So, yeah, I'm okay with that, that a couple of them are repeats. And I had Dollar Tree stuff. I don't know what even happened to that. Oh, something down in here. certainly isn't all of it, but I don't know quite honestly where all of it is, but that's okay. I mean, it's not like you're going to miss out that you didn't get to see all my stickers. <laughs> I'm sure you're not going to be upset about that. So I got these little girly ones. They're cute. I love to use them in my, you know, my daily creative journal, and I love to use them in obviously little things for Julie, these cute little girls. Some of them are ballerina dancing. Some of them are playing tennis. Some of them are just, you know, having fun. And there are some little ballet slippers in there. Speaking of creative journaling, um, I do that every day. I say that. Um, 
and I have, I really truly have. But two weeks ago, when I met Teresa on this Saturday, two weeks ago, I lined up the paper. I got it all ready. You know, it's it's all set up. It says Teresa, Saturday, May 1st, and, and on and on it goes. And um, it was all prepped for when I got home that night to fill it in, where we went, what we did, what we bought, what we talked about. And um, I was exhausted when I got home that night. So I went to bed and I thought, I'll fill it in on Sunday. And do you know I haven't been back to that journal in two weeks? Um, you know, uh, just things have gotten away from me. And I was telling Michelle Summer, um, Crafty Ruse, um, that, you know, I haven't even made my embellishment box to send into her and the deadline is creeping up. I'm hoping that she'll honor the um, postmark date on the box um, as I send it in. I'm gonna get started on that today. But anyway, she's having a um, birthday challenge where if you send some sort of embellishment box and either an artist trading card or a memory decks card she will enter you in um, a giveaway challenge where she's going to give away um, a few things one of them being um, a $50 um, I don't know if it's a Hobby Lobby or Michael's gift card anyway it is a craft giveaway car a craft gift card so um, check out her channel again crafty ruse R O O S. And please, my lovely friend Michelle, who I always mention and who the next video will be about my, my last shopping trip with her two weeks ago, um, Teresa's Craft Adventures, no H in Teresa, T-E-R-E-S-A, Teresa's Craft Adventures. She just put out another video um, about a haul that she did from her Virginia area, um, and it's a lovely video, and she's such a great personality, and she um she just is funny sweet and kind and ever ever so creative and talented please check her out she needs more viewers she needs a boost in morale um she's had a few kick in the pants and she she really needs some support so um if you're a kind loving person please go over and show her some love i would really appreciate it tell her that i sent you um so anyway uh, as i end up here today and finish um i got a couple of packs of house stickers from my friend eileen I got a couple of these gem strips. I love these. I've used them on embellishment boxes and other things, pink and blue. I got some dog stickers. Surprise, surprise. I got more of the sunburst stickers. And I got this piece set for my daughter, Julie, for when I make things for her. Okay, that's all I see. <laughs> like that's not enough laying around on my craft room floor. Now I'm at peace <laughs> because I can get all that put away and then I can bring in the things from my haul from two weeks ago when we had our fun day in Virginia. And um, it's not a lot. I didn't buy a lot last time with Teresa, but um, there's a lot of fun <laughs> and memories in that day. And so I want to bring that in now that I have space and show you that. So now that I have talked for 43 minutes. I'm so sorry. I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend. Um, if you're watching it today, it's Saturday. You still have the weekend ahead of you. I'm looking out on my beautiful backyard that I'm so grateful, God, for everything you've given me in my life. And to be able to look out on a pretty backyard and have room for my dogs to run around in it. I'm so, so incredibly blessed to have this tiny little house. Um, on one level where I can just, you know, it's so easy to take care of. And yeah, I've had to get rid of a lot of stuff, but you know what? Sometimes you've got to give up stuff to get something better in your life. And I don't regret giving up all the furniture and possessions that I did. And now I'm still giving up stuff out of my garage that's been in there for three years. I'm not going to use it. You know, um, I don't, I don't, um, I don't give um, those home interior parties or Tupperware or anything anymore. And, you know, since my daughter died, I don't, excuse me, I don't really put on family um, gatherings here much anymore. Um, for the years since she's been gone and even before that actually I um not not just I mean it's be even before she passed 
we have had Thanksgiving and Christmas dinners at my brother's house. So why do I have all these platters and dip trays and pickle trays and condiment bowls and tablecloths and table runners and, you know, ice cube buckets and the lot. I don't have picnics and cookouts in the summertime anymore. Um, you know, and some of you are probably thinking, Lisa, have them, use that stuff. And I would like to. Um, my house is much smaller. I don't have a place to put people, but um, I, I do have a uh, leaf for my table and I could invite more people and kick the dogs in the garage for a day and, you know, um, in the winter time and, and in the summer, I could certainly let them outside. And, you know, three, three quarters of the year, we could spread the um, gathering out into my yard and I do have a lot of chairs out there. Um, I, I would like to, you know, invite um, some, you know, more recent people that have come into my life through the craft group and and things like that. Um, some of the people have fled my life since my daughter died because, as they said in the first six months, I was too sad. Um, I would never do that to someone. Um, but they're gone and, have you know, it's better that I know who my true friends are. So, and, you know, maybe I should invite my brother and his family up here since they host us so much for, for holidays. Anyway, there's a lot of stuff. My point is there's a lot of stuff in my garage that I don't use anymore. So I'm um, unloading that and lightening my, my load and um, making a lot more space for my craft things that I can label and know where they are so that it's not a, you know, arduous process of when I need, you know, uh, pipe cleaners for Christmas or something. I'm not going, oh my God, where are they? You know, I have 25 big bins, you know, labeled Christmas or something. I mean, that's an exaggeration, but, you know, to go through those great big bins looking for pipe cleaners, you know, what I'm doing is I'm narrowing it down to smaller bins labeled Christmas and being more specific about what's in them. So I don't have to go through those great big, you know, bins and dig, dig, dig to find, you know, some small item. So, um, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling accomplished as I get through that. And um, for the first time in a few years, I have been doing mulching, replacing the mulch all around my house and planting flowers, which I haven't done in the last couple of years because my morale hasn't been all that good. Um, I kind of left it the way it was when I moved in. I planted three rose bushes out back and called it a day. And in the three years I've been here, I haven't done anything else since. So... Um, I am feeling better, I am feeling good, and I'm glad to be back to YouTube after, you know, a few weeks of kind of being away from it all. So thank you for those who've been praying for me. Thank you for those who have messaged me or emailed me or whatever, um, made comments. I really, really appreciate your support, and you make me feel like I matter, and you make me feel loved. And I will be back with my Virginia haul. So wait, there's more. Bye now.